Okay, so today um, I am picking up my sister and brother-in-law. I'm with the rest of the fam and we're gonna go to the Getty Villa for a little sightseeing fun. They're visiting from Denmark and we missed the California sun over here. So we're gonna show them um, the Getty Villa and doing a little walk around. Why do they do this? The feet, yo. Ew. The feet in there. I would be so, so funny if someone made like a feet a website with just statues feet. <laughs> and then you can use your own and then someone has a fetish like, let me see the statue from the Getty. You see his foot from Mercury. Sorry man, we just, bye. <laughs>
Lovely scored. So I've been picking up a few things from different stores that I want to show you. First things first, I went to TJ Maxx and since I love my new mini long chomp bag that I recently got, I had to get another one. So I found this. This is the small size. And I thought I would get black this time because I thought that that would work more on an everyday kind of situation. It's more of a neutral. And I thought this was the perfect size for me. It's not too big and it's not too small. And if I have to carry a little more like my camera on me or just a little more my water bottle, I could fit this versus my other bag. So just to show for a size comparison, this is the one I just got. Okay, let me open it up. It's, it's been folded, but you see the size comparison right there. A quick sizing tip I just wanted to point out. The small long chomp bag folded up is very similar to the size of the mini pouch. So just to compare, this is what it looks like side by side, back to front. <laughs> so if you have one or the other, you can kind of figure out what each size is. So I hope that helps. <laughs> because I knew I was looking for this and I would get lucky finding it at a TJ Maxx, since they've been having them in stock lately, I went ahead and I bought a insert. So let me show you the insert real quick. And I will link um, this in the description and on my blog so you know where to get this. What I liked about this insert was that there was pockets on either side. So there's a pocket right here, pocket right here, pocket right here, pocket right here. There's even little places to hang things or attach it to the bag a little bit better. So I like that and I like that you could take this out of the bag and just lift it out if you need to just remove something from the bag and stuff it with something else. Um, I love the fact that this middle compartment has a zipper so I can zip everything up and not worry about things falling out. There's additional pockets in here and it looks kind of waterproof or spill proof. It doesn't look like it can get too dirty. So I'm just really quickly gonna show you that when you unzip this, you can stick this right inside. And what I like about it too, it fits really nicely, but there's still more room to spare on the sides. It doesn't stuff the bag completely. Like if I want to put something on the side of the insert, I still have a little bit of space. So it fits so nicely. And I like the fact that it's like this cute little baby blue um, print. It's fun to dress up a very neutral bag like this, like black or brown with something fun inside. So I always like to play with color inside my bags, especially if they're black. So this is the bag. And that's the insert. After I picked up my long chomp bag, I stumbled upon this other bag that I didn't need, but the price is right, so I got it. This cute Bottega dupe. I saw and I had to have it. It is so soft and supple. I think that's what got me. It is so soft to the touch, and I believe this is a vegan leather aka not real leather, um, but it looks like it could also take a beating. You know what I mean? I don't think I have to take too much care with this bag. I love that this could hold all my stuff. It's a complete catch-all, and it's going to be a Mary Poppins bag. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I had no idea there was a little pouch. That is so cute. Oh my God, that was a surprise. I definitely kind of just opened it and looked, okay, there was, I, what? I did not know that. I just, what? Okay, I literally saw this at the bottom of the bag, so I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even go to look further in this, but there was a pouch all along. Oh my God, that's so cute. I love free things. I mean, I paid for it, but I mean, extra things. That is so cute. I could put little, oh, this is perfect for my receipts. 
I'm definitely someone that after I like check out of a store and I have my receipts, I kind of just throw in my bag because I don't want to like take up too much time on the counter. And I just throw my receipts in the bag. And by the end of the day, I have all these stupid receipts taking up all this space. So this is perfect for receipts. I'll just slip my receipts in here and call it a day. Especially because this is going to be such a catch-all type bag that I'm just gonna dump stuff in. That is perfect. What a great surprise. And it just looks so cute under my arm. It's actually showing up a little bit more brighter. It's a deeper mustard yellow, but it's very cute. Very Bottega looking and it's just very nice. Good for fall. So I'm excited to use this. Didn't need it, but I definitely had to buy it. <laughs> so I was video chatting my sister the other day and she was making matcha in the morning. And I was like, what is that cute little container that you have for your matcha? I was like, I need that. She knows I'm a super, super, like I need my matcha every day. I'm a super matcha crazed person. And she had the cute, cutest little setup in her little cute little kitchen. I'm like, uh, where'd you get that? I need that. So she told me about it and mine just came in. So I'm gonna open it. I actually sent her a picture. I'm like, I got the box. <laughs> I got the box. She's like, you're gonna love it. So this is the matcha ceremonial ceremony set. Matcha ceremony set. This is a very difficult box. Oh, I'm an idiot. There's definitely a latch right here that I need to open first. I'm like pulling the box apart trying to open. I'm like, why isn't, I'm not. That's ridiculous. Anyways, the struggle is real. So, okay, came very nicely wrapped. I appreciate good packaging and I appreciate when they take care of making sure things don't get cracked and mess up inside, so. Awesome, really good sign. Love my bamboo trays, so I get another one. Also, side note, I bought more bamboo trays. I'll show you later, but let's get through this. Oh, I don't have one with curves, so this one is really cute. Oh, cute, oh, cute. Love it, little feet. So it doesn't mess up your tables. I like that. Thinking for me, I like when companies go above and beyond and do the extra thing. A uh, tea towel, very cute. I'm going to take this out of plastic. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, you know what's funny? I make matcha every morning, but I also didn't splurge on any set. So I'm kind of actually really glad that I got this because this was definitely, if I had to buy a set, this would be the set. Oh, that's very pretty. So I got a little handbook. Good. I also am really bad at reading instructions. Oh, it just kind of says, I never read directions or handbooks, but I mean, I'm glad to have it if I need to refer to it. This is so cute. I love a set. This little guy is actually the real reason why I got <laughs> this set. I saw my sister taking her matcha out of here and I was like, what is this cute round little pod? The thing about me is I really love certain round shapes. I love the creamy color. I love the contrast with this brass color inside. Like it is the cutest like pill bottle thing for my matcha. Like literally I bought the set for this really. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. It's so cute. And it will look so cute um, in my matcha corner. So this is the little canister to keep your matcha nice and preserved. So I love that, love that, love that. Came with this. Got this little rest. I like how everything is very safely packaged though. So that is a huge pro for me. I'm gonna, oh, this is the mixing bowl. Again, love the really creamy color, love the texture on the outside of the bowl. Love like this roundness of this bowl. Like, there's certain round shapes that just don't do it right, but this is so, oh my God. It's, it's a very serene bowl. I can't explain it, you just have to see it. Just so soft. 
and creamy. I love it. I love it so, so much. Okay, got this in there. Okay, got the strainer. Got the spoon, spatula. So what's left is the whisk. Very cute. I like that it comes in its own separate container to keep dust free. So that is basically the entire set. I'll also leave the link in the description and on my blog as well if you want to find this. I got these bowls from Home Goods and I was in real need of rice bowls. I wanted to replace my old ones and I saw these really cute blue and white ones and when I saw them, they had a whole area of new stuff and I saw these bowls, they had different ones, different patterns and stuff like that, but I saw these and these were so, so, so cute. I love the pattern on it. It, I just, I, I was obsessed. So I got a couple of these and then I saw this ramen bowl as well. This is also made in Japan and it was so cute. I had recently gone to get ramen the other day and they had a similar shaped bowl at the restaurant. And then I saw this, I'm like, oh my God, I could recreate the mood that I was in in the restaurant. I could do noodles in here or um, I could make, I don't know, um, really cool salads in here. I just thought I could do a lot of things with this bowl. I love the stripes on the side. And I don't know, I, just, I got a couple of these as well. These are really, really cute. I'm so happy I found them. And I do like the fact that they're both different prints, but they're also very cohesive at the same time. Like I can mix a table. <laughs> don't break. I can mix a table setting with these two things and they would work very nicely as well. So I'm so happy with these. And even just looking at them in my cart got me all excited. I was just like, these are coming home with me. I could just see the color palette and the prints mixing. Yes. I really needed a um, utensil rest for my um, spoon or whatever I'm using when I'm cooking. I tend to always kind of just put them on a paper towel, but then I realized like I'm really going through a lot of paper towels here. I need to like get something. So I thought, okay, why not just, just get one of these? I thought these were really cute. This one has really cute, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like an etched B and the honeycombs pattern is going along the sides of the um, spoon. I thought that was so, so cute. And I love the shape of this. So it's, I like that it was white on white with a little cute etched design and it complements things very well. So this is very cute. Then, okay, let's go into, okay, let me finish the dishware and then I'll go into my other set. So then I also saw, I have, um, a similar shaped bowl to this in a off-white color. That's a little bit larger for more of a dinner plate, but I don't eat a lot all the time. You know what I mean? So I like to have little mini meals through the day, and I felt like this was a little bit better suited. The size was a little bit better suited for like my daily meals. Um, so I thought this medium size was really nice. It's hard to see. It looks black, but it's a very deep green and I love that. It is so beautiful. I love the shape of it. And it says it's porcelain. It was dishwasher, microwavable safe. So I was like, yes, get it in the cart. Then I picked up, I saw these really cute Demitas espresso cups and I thought they were perfect for my espressos. I never really see a um, saucer with a little lip like this. I thought that was so unusual and very cool. I love the little lip and I love that it was gold. Um, I also like that this Demitas espresso cup had a little bit of a um, texture on this side. So I thought it was really, really cute to add to my collections. I love collecting teacups, glassware, Demitas espresso cups. So this, I had to get a couple of these. These were really, really cute. So I got a couple of those and then I, <laughs> then I kept going and then I saw that they had the coffee size cup. So I had to get one for coffee. And then this comes with the larger saucer. Isn't this the cutest thing? I got my cute little dishes and I was happy with those. 
And then I realized like literally they start putting out Christmas decorations so early, but I'm not complaining. I saw the cutest thing. Okay, just hold on. <laughs> I need to name him. It's so cute. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? I just thought he was so like chibi looking and he's so cute. Look like cheeks and everything. My only complaint when I saw him was that he has this little white paint mark by his face, but he was the only one in the store. So I took a chance and I thought, okay, if I go to another Home Goods, I might find another one and I could return this and get one that actually doesn't have this. But I took the chance and maybe hope that I could like try to get it off. But I'm hoping to find another one. If not, like I still think he's so cute. I love, oh, he's just so cute. I And okay. He lights up. Okay, look at this, wait. And he has two modes. Can you see? <gasps> Isn't he so cute? How could I not bring you home? Yeah, there you go, we got the twinkle lights. So I'm ready for the Christmas season. I went to Ikea as well, and I found some really cute stuff, and I'm like, I have to get the Ikea bucket hat. My hair is a mess, but I'm gonna try this on so you can see. Okay, so this is actually really kind of cute. The first thing that came to my mind is like, okay, I'm going to get my hair done and it's my hair is all wrapped, it's raining outside. Let me just take this out of my car real quick or my bag real quick and pop this on my head with my bonnet underneath and run to my car. I feel like that's what <laughs> comes to mind when I have this hat on that like I'm running to my car trying to keep my hair dry. So I think this is actually be really good. I have a quite a big head and this fits me perfectly, but I know if I had braids, this will be kind of snug. Like I don't feel like this will fit if you have a big head like me and braids. I feel like it would be a little bit, it would sit a little higher on your head. And I realize it fits really nicely now. I don't have braids on right now, but I know I have a big head. It's comfortable, but any more volume with the big head combination, this might fit a little snug, or you just wear it higher on your head. That's a little note on the. This is actually a really good hat to keep in your car, especially if you live in areas that rains a lot. This is like, okay, keep in the car, keep it in the bottom of your bag, you don't care. This is a good one. Okay, okay, Ikea. This is cute, this is cute. I also picked up these large bamboo trays. I knew that I already loved these because I actually own the smaller size. Now I use these every day with like my matcha, tea, coffee, and a little like cookie or a little stack on the side. So this is really like my drink tray that I use every day. So I, I realized that, I don't even know why the first time I didn't get the large one, but I know now I definitely needed it because these are just so good. They're so easy to clean. They're so light. I do have other trays, but the reason why I love these so much is that when I just want like to place my food out and all that stuff, and I don't feel like holding some of my other heavier trays, this is just a really good everyday tray. I definitely suggest it. It's really good. It's really easy. And um, I just like it. And I could imagine it, okay, so with, how cute would this be? Can you see it right here? If I had like my cute little bowls on the tray, da da da. How cute would that be? Dinner is served, vibe, love it. See, isn't that so cute? It's such an easy tray. But if you have more, like a lot of heavy food that you're carrying far, then I would suggest using a different tray for sure with handles perhaps. But I usually already have this on my table and I just add the food to it. If I have to carry a tray from here to there, 
use one with handles, I would suggest. But these are so good, I'm glad I got them. I also saw this one. I think this is part of their, I think this is, this was new. I just kind of like the pop of color. I only got one of these because I knew it was not something I wanted, um, that I needed like a whole set of. It was just like a one off pop of color. That was really cute. Like if I had my, my matcha on here and stuff, it would just be a cute little situation. I love a pop of color. So I just got this just because I like this one pop of color. And I like pink. That was pretty much why I bought this. I, I just got one. It was whatever. This would be kind of cute for like a little cute little dessert that happened to match. And it's actually kind of matching me right now. Then I picked up actually the, I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'm going to say the Blasverk. Blasverk? Blasverk? This lamp, I got this lamp, and I got it in that creamy, off-white, tan, neutrally color, tan gray. And then I also picked it up in yellow. The funny thing is, I had put both in my cart, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna decide which one I want when I get to the register. And I completely forgot both of them were in there, so I ended up with two. I'm gonna open them both up now to decide whether or not I'm gonna keep both. But I thought the yellow would have been fun for a pop of color, and I thought the neutral color would be really nice in just blending in. And I love the creaminess of the neutral color. So I'm gonna open that first. The lamp is actually quite a good size for the price. It's quite substantial. Ooh, I love this color. Honestly, the creamy color is very pretty. I love colors that literally look like it's melting. And this is one of those colors that literally look like it's melting. And I love that. So let me see if I could actually set this up. Uh, I don't really like reading instructions, but let me just attempt maybe because I don't want to waste time. Oh, wow. It actually comes with the bulb. That's nice. I thought I was going to have to get a bulb myself. That's great. That's great. Wow, okay. Okay, I guess I have to look at this. Mm. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I thought there was still another film around this. The, um, the texture of the post is actually very different from like the shade and the bottom of the lamp. It's kind of, it's metal. And it has, it's a, it has a, just a different texture. This is actually so cute. I love the color. I love the shape, the roundness. And it's such a, it's, a, it's a very substantial lamp for the price. And it was very easy to put together. And it included a bulb. So very happy with this purchase. Let's see how I feel about the yellow.
To be honest, after assembling them, I actually like both colors. This can go in any room and it's quite a neutral, but this is such a nice pop of color that I feel like in a different room, this could actually work as well. So I'm kind of thinking of keeping both. I really like how they both look. Um, I could try turning them on and seeing what they look like, but aren't they really cute? They look like huge lollipops. Or they look like big baby rattlers. So I feel like <laughs> they're kind of cute. But yeah, actually technically they look like baby rattles, don't they? I don't know, I feel like I could do something with these. I like them both. Um, they both won't be used in the same room, but I think I might keep both. I really do like the yellow and I do like this neutral creamy color as well. So I'm gonna try this with the light on and see what I think. So these are the colors. 